So, are you going to be here when I get back? Well, I was going to come into work first today. Why? If you're so desperate to get as far away from me as you can. Well, I will do if you carry on like that. Well, you're the one who said you had to get away. Yeah. From here. From everything. But I s assumed you'd want me to come in and sort things out first. Make things as easy for you as I can. But perhaps you wouldn't. Perhaps you'd just prefer it if I go now. I'd prefer it if you didn't go at all. Do you want me to come into work or not? Right then. Before we go in, something I have to tell you. Go on. I smashed a window in the office. What? Last night. After you went out. What, it was an accident, or...? No. No, it was a deliberate act. Can I ask why? I just felt like... We were on the edge of everything coming good. Everything we'd worked and planned for, and then some stupid drunk of a driver comes round the corner and it's all gone. And I just thought, I have to smash something. Yeah, do you want to just keep back, everybody? Glass all over the floor. But what happened? Must be a break-in, was it? Whatever it was doesn't concern you and needn't stop you getting back to work. So let's just pretend this is a normal working day, shall we? Thank you. I know it wasn't a mature, considered reaction, but it's how I felt. And so you know, I'm glad you came in here today. Else you might have missed this. You don't have to come in with me, you know. Why don't you just write a letter? Leave her with Michelle, she'll give it to her. Barry, let me do this, please. Susie, my name is. Went to college together. She went off to live in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. She's always been on at me to come over, see you. So now's the time. <clears throat> I hope we're not disturbing anything. Not at all. Come in. It's me. I wanted to have a word with Carla here. The only we're off back to Ireland this afternoon, so. Uh... Sorry, I said them things to you. It wasn't the time or place to be telling people how to behave. Don't worry. I've had a lot more important things to think about. Oh, have you? Well, maybe when you finish thinking about them, you let me know whether you've accepted my apology or not. Come on. Never mind, come on. I've gone out of my way here to make peace between us, and this is what I get. <laughs> What exactly were you expecting? Am I supposed to be so grateful you're not standing here slagging me off on that? Hmm? Bye. Oh, I am. Yeah. You happy now? Happy? When am I ever going to be happy again after the loss I've had? Loss you've had? What does that mean? I think you're the only one, don't you? It's only a week since I lost my son. You know, when it comes to losing somebody, somebody you love... Now, we came here to make the peace, not to reopen hostilities. I know why I came here, thank you. And I know what I've been met with. 
Well, we have a plane to catch here. Good luck to you both. Bye. Oh, I'm coming. Hardly want to stay here, would I? I've just heard from Susie. She said, yeah, I can go and stop with her. Are you sure Los Angeles is far enough? I'm asking you, again, not to go. I know. And what I want you to do is try and understand why I have to. Just like I've tried to understand why you had to smash that window. Well, the way I feel, I want to smash every window there is. I want to bring this old place down on top of me. But instead, I'm going away for a bit. And do we know how long that'll be? I don't know. Can I ask you, when you come back, which I assume you will come back, will we get married then? Can't think that far. I'm not asking you for a day. I... You know, if you ask me again, I'm going to say no. It's not what I want to say, but if you keep going on and on at me, then you're going to force me to say something I don't want to. You can ask when you're going. Friday. That was more miserable than a funeral. Do you think he smashed that window himself? I think he might have. Why, though? I don't know. <gasps> One thing I do know, though, they're not getting married. <gasps> Shut up! Oh, I'm not saying never, but just not this week like they're supposed to. I heard a counselling story. <gasps> Look, I know I probably picked the worst day to do this. Well, it's not really like it's our wedding day. I need to get away. You will be all right. I'm not going to smash anything else up if that's what you mean. Good. I do love you. Aye, then. Oh, I hate that word. It sounds like you're not coming back. Don't be daft. Carla! Jimmy, hi, it's Tony. Just for a few weeks, it would do you good. No, I can't, not yet. I just, I feel closer to Liam here. I promise you'll come out soon, then, eh? Yes. Just worried you won't look after yourself. She'll be fine. I'll take care of her. <laughs> I only wish that reassured me. Well, if I can't persuade you... I'm so sorry we never got to meet him, look. Come on. Look after yourself, eh? I will. Love you. Me too. Look after your sister, son. Oh, do you, Dad? We'll phone you tonight. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Mum's right, though. You need to take better care of yourself. Why don't I make us some lunch? Oh, Kirk, I'm fine, honestly. Do you know what I really fancy doing? Having a nice long got soak in the bath. I might even treat myself to a few chocolates while I'm at it, eh? All right, then. But I'll be just next door if you need me. Thanks.
thought we agreed we wouldn't get in touch unless something had happened. You sound like something out of a John Le Carre. Chill out, will you? So, nothing has happened? No. Right. So what do you want, then? Just a drink with her mates. Is that so strange? From you? Yeah. You want a reason? Today was supposed to be my wedding day. I never knew. Well, you weren't invited. So me? It was a big fairy tale number. Not your style. And this is with a lovely Carla? It was, yes. The beautiful, tantalizingly close, but ultimately unattainable Carla. So, so what's happened then? So what happened, yeah. Someone called Liam. Liam's dead, yes. But not forgotten. Never forgotten, heaven forfend. How could we forget someone so perfect, so saintly, so far superior to me? He is the role model that I ultimately aspire. I thought the old point of doing what we did was to clear the way for you and her. Yeah, so did I. But that's Liam for you. Even dead, he's still managing to get his leg over. Another? No, Tony, actually, I, uh... Come out. Just for five minutes. Get a breath of fresh air. Go on, Maria. It's not good for you sat indoors all day long. Kirk, I just want to go through Liam's stuff. I'll bail you later, yeah? You always say you'll bail me later and you never do. I'm not having a go, all right? Has he been out? I don't remember this. It's been months since we went for an Indian. That wasn't with me, that. What's the delivery? Home number's on the top. Oh. Yeah, of course, I do remember it now. Stayed in with a DVD. Watched the Simpsons movie. I was laughing so much, we had to keep rewinding it. Maria. I know how hard this is for you. Why was he calling Carla all the time the day he died? <laughs> Under him, look. Is that what this is all about? Well, it's obvious something was going on. I knew that cow had a claws in him. Oh, yeah, it, it wasn't like that. How do you know? Well, she made him promise to uh, let her know what was going on on Tony Stag do. You know, she was worried in case we tied him to a lamppost or something. And that's why he was phoning her? Yeah, a couple of them calls were me when he got sick of doing it himself. Really? Maria, have you even slept? How can I sleep, Tom? Look, why don't you go and get a couple of hours, yeah? I'll, I'll tidy up a bit here. <laughs> you can't do this to yourself. You're exhausted. Think about the baby, eh? 
just don't know what to do. I know. I know, love. Just... Go on. We've got to look after her now, eh? Don't we, Az? Hmm? Hi. Oh, hi, Fizz. No, she's... She's just gone back up to bed. Just wanted to check you all right. Mm. Chat a break. I can do it. OK, I can manage a cup of tea. So, are you all right? Kirk, I know you mean well, but please, can you stop asking me that? I'm sorry. I just... I don't know how to help. I know. I want to say the right things and that, but... Come here. You're doing fine, honestly. Nobody can help, can they? It's only... Well, I feel dead bad for asking. But Sarah and Les... They've sent tickets for me, Ches and Fizz, to go to South Africa to meet up with them next week. Really? Okay. Hello? No, sorry, um, he's... He died. Yeah. Recently. Hiya. No, I'm his brother-in-law. Thanks. Yeah, it's been hard. It's for Ladbrags. Have you got Tom or Carla's number? Carla's? Uh, Carla's got nothing to do with the business. What do you want her for? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Tom's his partner. Where'd you get the idea that Carla's involved? Well, she's not. Look, I'll get Tom to call you back, yeah? OK, thank you. Bye. Do you know, why is that woman everywhere a turn? The bloke thought Carla was a partner in Ladrags. It's probably mixed up from when they were at the factory. So is it OK if I go? I don't want to leave you by yourself if you think it's too soon. No, yeah, of course it is. You go enjoy yourself. Have a great time. Where's Ozzy? 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 Oh, Kurt, look, you've left the door open. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Come on, get out here. We need to find him. If anything's happened to him. Yeah, I know that. What I want to do is wait till the market picks up. But they got us over a barrel. Yeah, do that. Hi. It's me. I miss you. Give us a call. Ozzy! Ozzy! You shouldn't be outside in that. Yeah, I'm not cold. Ozzy! Oh, where is he, Kirk? Smelled a rat, maybe. <sighs> it's not the only one. I mean a real rat. There's loads in Manchester. They breed like rabbits. I just turn you back for one second and that's it. He's gone. I mean, he's not a puppy, is he? You should stay where and tell him. Well, maybe he's still upset. Dogs are dead sensitive. Do you know if anything happens to him? It won't. Yeah, but it only takes a split second, doesn't it, for a car to come along and bang. It's you who's going to catch your death if you stop out here. Oh. Why did that man just ask for Carla? We used to work together in the factory. He was ringing about lad rags. You go in. I'll look for Ozzy. I'm going to ring Tom, get him back round here. Ozzy! Phil Brickbang earlier, asking to speak to Liam. When he explained, he asked for you or Carla Connor instead. I'll call him, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Why ask for Carla? She's got nothing to do with Ladvags. It was a straightforward question, Tom. She put some money into the business, yeah? She did what? 
It was all above board. So why all the secrecy? Why am I having to drag it out of you now? It was my fault. I went to see her behind Liam's back. Why was I kept in the dark? Well, it was a business arrangement. I can show you the paperwork. You can ask Carla. It... No, no, I'll never believe another word you say. Maria. Just leave me alone. Just go, Tom. <sighs> Uh, not abandoning your post, I hope. A punter could walk off the street any minute. Tony, the only time the phone rings, it's you asking if anybody's wrong. I know. That's why I've decided to take drastic action. What? Buy one, get the other 11 free? It's the only way you're going to shift them. I'm going to reduce the price. Give it one last push. But onto the agent, they're going to do a big splurge in the local press. Right. Oh, hey, Maria. How's it going? All right. Um, I just wanted a word with Leon in private, if that's all right. It's a bit awkward, actually. No, not at all. Go up and use the show flap. I actually know what I'm saying. I should talk to you and all. What's in your mind? I found a load of missed calls on Liam's phone off Carla on the night he was stag do. And also, I've just found out that Carla was a partner in Ladrax. You were with him that night. Was he making loads of calls? Listen, Maria, I'm really sorry. I've got to go. I'm really sorry. Not that I noticed. Um... I wasn't really watching him. Look, Tony, I feel awful saying this, but do you think something might have been going on? One hot chocolates. Did you know that Carla had put money into Ladrags? Mm hmm. So everybody knew, except me. They knew how you'd react. But they still went ahead. Business is business. And to answer your earlier question, no, they weren't having an affair. You seem very sure. Well, I had entertained the thought myself. Really? I worked with them, remember? Sat through their nauseating banter, the constant preening. They were the two biggest show-offs I've ever met in my life. So you saw it too? Yeah. It was like, I'm more godlike than you. I could have you if I wanted. Talk about prima donnas. I always knew there was an attraction between them. Each thought the other was besotted. Once I'd figured that out, I started sleeping at night. So you don't think anything went on? He was her ex-husband's brother. They knew where to draw the line. And I'll tell you another thing. He worshipped you. He wouldn't betray you. And now I'm betraying him. Betraying his memory. Tony, I feel awful. No luck. Nah, but it's early days. Chances are he'll come back himself. Oh, Kirk, he's never been off the lead. He'll be lost. No, not necessarily. They know their own scent. Even on the lead, they mark the territory. As you to say, that's how he got back from town when he'd had a skin full like. Oh. I can't believe we were so careless. Well, you've had a lot on your mind, love. From what Kirk's been saying. Yeah, I was being an idiot. Put two and two together and made five yet again. Tony put me straight. I knew they'd been out to it. Mm. Was he? Hey! Did he just knock on the door? Oh. Oh. Where was he? Am I so glad to see you? He was on the red wreck. <laughs> it was a bit embarrassing, actually. Hey, embarrassing? Well, if you were a young lad allowed to roam free for the first time, what would you do? Oh, Ozzy! <laughs> now, the woman was all right about it. The woman? The other dog owner. I got a number, actually. <gasps> do you know? I don't know where he's worse you are, Ozzy. Come on, stub, let's get you a drinkies. Cup of tea would be great, thanks. <laughs> There's no need to explain, Tom. Let my paranoia get the better of me, end of. I should have been straight with you. Yeah, but you're only trying to protect me. Yeah, but there was nothing to protect you from. Liam didn't have anything to do with the deal. In fact, he was furious. What do you mean? Well, the banks wouldn't give me the capital I needed, and without them, the All-American Booty deal was dead in the water, so... Uh... You went to Carla? Yeah, behind Liam's back. He knew how much... It might upset you, and that's why he didn't want her involved. Look, I think he'd rather the business had gone belly up. That's how much you meant to him.
I feel like I'm going to a funeral. Do I look like I'm going to a funeral? No, you don't. Just calm down, honestly. You look very, well, grown up and, you know, respectable. I shouldn't wear this for wear, really. But I don't ask for an early lunch so I can get changed. You will stay with me in court, won't you? Yeah, of course I will. I'm not going to leave you there standing on your own, am I? No. I mean, if it were for you taking all the blame, Jan, I'd be stood there with you. Oh, don't start. I owe you so much, you know. You know, you think that this is a big deal. And, well, yeah, it is to you and me, but to a judge, it's nothing, is it? He'll have seen all sorts, won't he? Or she. Could be a woman. <laughs> Might be better if it is. Well, whoever it is, they'll just want to give you a slap on the wrist and move on to the next one. Yeah. Yeah, they will, won't they? <laughs> well, she arrived home yesterday in the back of a police car. She looked in a right state. Oh, I'd love to know what went on. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Kevin and Sally were with her, and they all looked exhausted, but, you know, dead happy. I mean, I still can't believe that she was actually kidnapped. Yeah, well, she was. They're all talking about it, everyone. Fizzy Bella kept her in a wheelie bin, tied up. But all this time... Oh, but Kelly is right. This is very hard to believe. Well, where's Fizz now? Is she here? No. There's your proof. What, what, that she were involved? No, not Fizz, no. Well, who knows? I mean, he kept her there for weeks. I mean, how do you live with someone and keep a secret like that? She doesn't know anything about it. No, but it's, it's true what he says, though, eh? about Rosie being kidnapped. I don't know. Nobody knows. All I know for sure is that Fizz has had her heart broken. And she doesn't know nothing about anything. Yeah, right. Oh, nice of you to turn up. Where's the funeral? Once you exceed that overdraft limit, all sorts of charges and penalties kick in. So we'll refinance. You've heard of the credit crunch? I've never been turned down yet. You're up to your neck in debt. The interest payments alone are enough to cripple most businesses. You have all the overheads of this place, plus not to mention the fact that... What about the prospective buyer for the flats? We're meeting this afternoon. Good. I'll be there and do some hard selling. He's talking about doing a deal for four of them, but it's far from agreed. If I sell four of them, I'm home and dry. Mm. You'd be able to meet your tax bill at least. I'm busy. Well, I just thought you'd want to know, Mr Gordon, that Sally's texted to say that she won't be in today. Did I not just say I was busy? Well, I thought you'd want to know what with Rosie and all that. Rosie? What about her? Well, she's back, didn't you know? Back home? When? Yesterday. Haven't you heard? And is she home still? I suppose. Everyone's talking about it. Giles, thank you very much. I will see you around there later. But we haven't decided anything. She all right? Yeah, she looks it. Good. Right. Keep your eye out. I'll be back later. From all of us to all of you, but especially Rosie. Oh, beautiful, my goodness. You didn't get them in Debs. Well, we think a lot of Rosie and you. It's good to know she's safe. Very much, love. Very nice. Is that it? Kevin. Would you like a cup of tea? Is Rosie up to it? No. Tony! Uh, are they for me? From everyone at Underworld, but especially for me. Oh, well, uh, me? <laughs> I might as well go and see if Ted Holmes all right. We haven't tied the knot yet, but I'm sure when Carla gets back... Yeah, well, I'm glad I haven't missed it. And the factory's jogging on without you? Oh, I bet my filing is a mess. You told anyone about the video? No. The police? Why would I? Anyone asked what happened in the hotel room? No. Your mum and dad? Tony, I haven't said anything to anyone. It's Maria I'm thinking about. She's just lost her husband. Last thing she needs is to be told that her husband was seen kissing another woman. I think the police are more interested in John Stape, not Carla and Liam. Good. Anyway, you've still got my phone. I chucked it. 
It was the only way to make sure the video was gone forever. Don't worry. I'll get you a, a touch phone any model you want. You could at least get the SIM card. It's got all my numbers in there. Keep your voice down. I'm doing my best here, Rosie. I told you, I'll replace the phone. You can have as much time off work as you need on full pay. Thanks. But this cuts both ways. The only way to get on in management is to prove that you can keep a secret, yes? Yes. They reckon that suit will get a few years off, eh? Shut it, Kel. She won't get prison. I might. Oh, you'll be all right. You'll come up smelling roses. I want to tell the judge how much that money means to us. The money you stole. Judges, huh? What do they know? Yeah, but they don't have to scrimp and save for a week away, do they? Bye, Janice. Look, I'm sorry, Vicky. Ten pounds, ten thousand pounds. What hurts is that your friends were nothing to you. Come on. You can do this. Come on. Have you spoken to Carla recently? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's fine. But how do you manage that? I keep getting her voicemail. Yeah, she said the uh, reception keeps coming and going. She's fine, though. Uh, hang on. We've got someone who went to view the flats. Oh, well, sorry, you're going to have to show them by yourself. I've got to go. Leanne, I'm trying to look professional here. I don't want the guy to think I'm a one-man band. <laughs> well, then, don't wear your knee symbols. Sorry, got to go. Come on, Jim. That was very nice of Mr Gordon to come over. He didn't upset me, did he? Oh, no, we're just catching up. Don't know, it just seemed very intense. He said um, Janice was going to court today, stealing. Yeah, I think they're charges obtaining money or something. Mm. What was he saying about a secret? Oh, nothing. Well, he just wanted to check. You know, it was, it was just about confidentiality. Actually, you shouldn't feel pressured into keeping something secret, you know. Mum, I know. Can, can we just stop talking about it, please? If it was something that happened between you and him, then what's the day you went missing? Mum, we would stop talking about it or I'll go out. You know when you went to the hotel? We just had a meal, that's all. I mean, it's nothing you can't tell me. I'm not going to be shocked. If you can't tell me, do you want me to ask him? Would that make it easier? No. Oh, no, Mum, please, just don't say anything. <sighs> if you must know, he's just trying to protect Maria. What's Maria got to do with this? Because her husband was having an affair with Carla Connor, all right? And uh, one morning, I took a video of them kissing, all right? And he doesn't want Maria to know because it will ruin her memories of Liam. Satisfied. I can hardly believe it. They didn't even get on. Yeah, well, they must have done. Well, if you don't believe me, Mum, it's on my computer at work. Open the file, Rose's insurance. And see for yourself. Top floor, ground floor. The choice is yours. So you've not managed to offload any of them yet? Whole first floor sold. Snapped up. Saving the best till last, you see. Bit overpriced. Bang on the button. A year ago, maybe. Plus, you're getting a good discount. The agreed price, then. Less 10%. Another 10%? Are you kidding? Maybe we could agree to 5%. Uh, no, we couldn't. I'll leave you to discuss it, shall I? The offer stays on the table until the end of business today. There's nothing to discuss. Don't bother calling. Hang on, hang on. I'm sure there's room for a bit of a negotiation. The market's flooded with sellers trying to get rid of places like this. Then you better find one, then. Because I'm not that desperate. Hate to say it, but there's no smoke without fire. Oh, I can hear the hanging judge. I always knew there was something weird about dry stay. Eyes like a dead fish. Well, if you ask me, it were a crime of passion. It'd have taught her in sweat. A crime of passion is somewhat spontaneous. Pouring boiling pig fat on your husband's private parts because he made love to your best friend. Is there something you'd like to share with us, Vicky? Oh, 
don't let me stop you. I'm sure you'll be beating your gums about this one for years. How's Rosie? Ah, uh, bearing up remarkably well, considering. Hey, has Tony gone out? Yeah, and uh, what about John Stape? I mean, he didn't utter or do all the dodger, did he? He locked her up in an attic in his grand's house. That's all there is to it. What, just a minute? <laughs> she not die of boredom? <laughs> it's the scars that you can't see that hurt the most. Mm, very profound. Did you get that off the back of a beer mat? <laughs> well, I'd, I remember. Ah, uh, she's asked me to pick some other stuff up. Rosie asked me to pick up a few bits and bobs. Um, is that her mug? Not that I know of, no. But uh, she's very welcome to it. Anyway, I'll um, see you later. Bye. Here you are. Dad, you don't have to watch over me. I'm all right. I know, I'm being daft. But part of me don't want to let you out my sight. Could have ended so... Don't bear thinking about. So don't think about it. Oh, did you get it? That lot, honestly, they're like a bunch of nettled hens going on and on about Fizz being arrested. What, Fizz is being arrested? Well, no one told me. This is about I want to talk to her. She's his girlfriend. Yeah, but, Dad, I've already told them she's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, but she was there when he let you out. Bit of a coincidence, if you ask me. Mum, I've already told you them. You were locked up. You only know what he chose to tell you. Right. Let's just see what happens. Tony almost caught me getting this. I hope it's worth it. What is it? I'll show you. How have you got this? Is this why you come down before? Right, Dad, I just... I don't want to talk about it now. There's no point. And you said Tony's actually seen this? He knew his missus was seeing someone else, and he didn't do anything about it. Yeah, well, he doesn't want Maria to know. Ah, fair enough, I suppose. Poor kid's got enough on her plate. Yeah, nice to know he can be a decent human being when he wants to be. It's none of our business, this. So get rid. Forget we've ever clapped eyes on it. Hiya, love. How are you? Oh, I need a cab to the police station, Lloyd. Julie's just rang me. They've taken Fizz in there. They don't think she was... Oh, I don't know, but I need to get down there straight away, you know. Give her some support. Where is she? I thought she'd be out by now. She'll nip in there, see if they'll tell me anything. Ah. Oh, there she is. Fizz! We phoned. Police said they were letting you go. You shouldn't be worrying about me. Oh, don't be daft. Come here. Oh. Oh. Babe. Come on, let's get you home. Oh, yeah. That flaming judge. I swear he was taking tips from Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> and the results are... <laughs> Hi, Maria. Uh, I'm glad I bumped into you. I've, have you got a minute? No, not really. Only I, I thought I should explain what happened last time I was back. Oh, look, forget it. I, I know I never got a chance to say goodbye to you. Peter, you don't matter, honestly. Well, you no, know, it matters to me, because I can see that you've not forgiven me. You are so pathetic. You think the whole world revolves around you? Don't look so worried. We're rescuing you. From what? Oh, do you know I don't get it? He's staying with Blanche, mouth almighty. And he knows night. <laughs> get in there. I don't want to kill. I tell you what, 
I've been to some rowdy stag do's in my time, but... Well, poor bloke. Poor Maria. She's the one who's been left behind to bring up a kid all by herself. Breaks your heart. Well, there's no wonder she couldn't be bothered about me and my sad little apology. Whew. For a moment there, I, I thought I might be losing my touch. I bear to think of him all on his own, locked up in some tiny cell. That's it, you know, now. That's going to be his life. Fizz, stop fretting about him. You don't deserve it. Maybe you should go away for a while. You know, Kirk and Chesney wanted you to go to South Africa with them. No, I can't. It'll look like I'm running away. Oh, it's times like these I wish I'd got my fondue set. There aren't many situations that can't be improved by a marshmallow dipped in chocolate. Mm, I usually agree, but... Um, hello? Yeah? Hey, Julie, this isn't a joke, you know, fizz is in bits here. Excuse me? I'll have you know that chocolate has got feel-good chemicals in it. And that is a medical fact. They said I can see him. I'm gonna go and get a shower. I can't believe you want to see him after everything he's done. She'll be wanting closure, won't you, chick? I just need to talk to him. Why? Fizz, you're only gonna be more upset, you know. Maria is gonna be going to prison for a really long time. I just want to talk to him while I've still got the chance. I need to try and make sense of what he's done. I'll get me in the same again. Oh, well. Better face the angry mob. If I'm not back in ten minutes, send out a search party. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. It's just as much my mess as it is yours. Well, girls, it's a good job we get paid today because I am on the bones of my backside. <laughs> Got to pay me last uh, thing we what's it instalment for me holiday. Oh, you lucky man! Any room for a small one? Hey, I could keep the lovely Dan entertained while you sashay around the pool in your leopard skin thong. Er, uh, forget it, Mater. Uh, he's only got eyes for me. <coughs> oh, hello. Oh, I've ever seen you before. Oh, I know. Crime watch. <laughs> so they didn't lock you up and throw away a key then. Oh, shame. Oi, she did the decent thing, right? Fessed up to what she'd done. She gave me the money back. Got community service. Oh, you'll be out and about on the red wreck picking up dog dirt, looking divine in your day glow yellow tabard. Ha <laughs> ha, that is the real punishment. It's not funny. She stole from us and she's got away with it. Ugh. I bet they still put people in stocks where you come from, don't they? Throw cabbages at them. Uh, Vic, you won't waste your brassicas on the lights of her, would you? Actually, don't get me another one. I'm gonna get off. Oh, all right then. Who's that? No, nobody. Just a bloke from the bookies. Hiya. Mm -hmm. right. He's not very happy with you, is he? What's wrong? Do you owe him money? I owe him now. He's a pig. <laughs> Just the bank on. They're getting twitchy because I haven't made the interest payments. If we can't find a way to sort the situation out, they could foreclose. It's really going to hit the fan. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to have to transfer some money from the Underworld account to the property business account. I thought there were no spare funds. That's right. I'm going to have to plunder the payroll. But all that money is accounted for, obviously. Staff wages. I don't have any choice. <sighs> Honestly, it's not an option. You'd need Carla's signature. It'll be too late by the time she gets back. I strongly advise against it. I didn't see that. Do you remember the first time my dad had a fortune cooker? Yeah, well, how was I supposed to know his bits of paper in the middle? So hilarious. You really <laughs> choked me, Dad. All of the message inside was spookily accurate and all. Beware of a sweet surprise. surprise. You might turn sour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget all that. Where's my pork balls? Dad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Fine, just give me a minute and I'm gonna be fine. Mom, come on, tea's getting cold. Yeah, I'm just getting the soy sauce, you get stuck in. I thought it'd never be like this again. All of us together. Mm. I know. 
Well, personally, I didn't think the tight jean revival worked, especially when you see all these young girls with the muffin tops rolling over the waistline. Hey, guess who brought his car in the garage yesterday? You know that tall lad you used to live on your road? Looked like Rodney Trotter. Yeah. Uh, he's working in a hotel now. He's one of these guys who stands in a lift all day pressing buttons. How's he doing? Up and down. <laughs> I think Rosie's going to be all right. Well, she's not as chipper as she's making out. Should have seen her flinch when her toast popped up. Mm, I do that sometimes. Well, but she flinched and yelped. Hardly made a sound. What are you telling her now? About the toast? I'm just saying. Yep. Keep the back door shut and only open the front if you know where it is. All right, Rosie. Mum, I'm fine. I didn't yell. Right, well, I'm doing the cake run at 11, so I'll pop in and see you then, and then I'll come back at lunchtime, OK? They've carted him off. I know. Doesn't stop me worrying about you? Right, I'll see you later as well. See you later. I've had enough imprisonment for one month. Listen, you're perfectly safe now, you're home. And if you need anything, we're just across the road, OK? Yeah. So, uh, what are you going to do? I go back to bed. <laughs> John, I don't want to speak to you. Please stop phoning me. No, this isn't a hint. This is me telling you outright. To say that I thought I knew you is an understatement. Not guilty. Oh, no, uh, the other bank manager. Yeah, well, he'll say no, but you go through the motions, don't you? Kill Joyce, mate. You're in the same game I've heard. I am, yeah, and it is a game. Yeah, I'm thinking of selling. <laughs> I'll give you a tenner for it. Done. Do you know what? I sold that shop once upon a time myself. Is that boiler still dodgy? Oh, it's got a mind of its own. Lift your hand to it, mate. Give it a crack. Soon lessons. Well, you know where I am. Daniel Mason. Nice to meet you. Pete Good Barber. to meet you. See you. Right, oh, I, listen, you will never believe this. I only went and took the wrong bank card, didn't I? Is that right? Yeah, but I'll have your money for you tomorrow, though. I won't panic. Well, you better have, because if you think I'm paying for you... No, I'm a modern woman, me. I pay my own way. Good, because I'm a modern man, me. <laughs> listen, Saturday, you and me will be on the beach in Iron Apple. Oh, good, that, eh? Oh, there's no delays. I mean, I don't mind flying, it's just hanging around in departure lounge that does it for me. Yeah, I won't be looking forward to that either. I'll have to pack a couple of bestsellers then. Yeah, we'll pack plenty, yeah? Have you read the Davisi Code? Not your thing, is it, not reading? Well, you know, I like autobiographies. Mickey Thomas, Steve Claridge, The Greats. Well, I am so excited. Can't get there quick enough. <laughs> See ya. Honestly, though, what material do you prefer in a lady's undergarment? Silk or satin? Or steel? Do you like I, a challenge? I won't be drawn into this. Let's settle down. It's really kind of nice, I bet he likes. Expensive tastes. I know your type. Actually, I like cotton. Ooh, you kinky bees. And what is so kinky about cotton? <laughs> sorry, I'm late, Mr. Gordon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Next time, Kelly, it'll be the stop. <laughs> if I had better legs, I'd get away with murder in this place, or manslaughter at least. Kel, sit yourself down. It's like the last day of school this morning, the lap we're having. Mr Gordon's telling us all about his kinky fantasies. I am not! You've the devil in you, Tully. What's with him enjoying himself? Mirth and merriment. He's defrosting under the hot lights of our spirit. <sighs> the all in the wall said they haven't got any money. Oh, can you imagine if they actually talk? That'd be really embarrassing, wouldn't it? Like them scales. My mother used to go on them. They used to start talking and she said, Do you never shut up? My hole in the wall would say, you again, you're broke, get over it. Mine would just laugh at my audacity. <laughs> oh, our wages weren't cleared yet. No, they don't clear till lunchtime, usually. Kirk and Ches leave for South Africa today. He's going to come back all bronzed and rippling. Wish I was going. So do I. Oh, do you fancy South Africa, Sean? No, I wish Sally was going. <laughs> right, I've got a fairly heavy schedule today, so I need you all to behave. Julie, make sure the state of the wheels, please. Hey, he's worked out a bit of banter goes a long way, haven't you, Mr Gordon? He's really cottoned on to that. <laughs> You're the accountant. Juggle some figures pronto before they fling me around like the carcass of a baby gazelle. <laughs> I was quite pleased with that one myself. Look, I don't want to get back in there. What are you doing for lunch? Great. 
used at Butchers. Oh, it's bright red. Ashley said, I'm sorry, love. It's not been accepted. Oh, you should have seen the face on the woman behind me. I'm this afternoon's anecdote. I just know it. I have disturbing yourself, sir. I checked with my bank. My just hadn't gone through either. What, we haven't been paid? Right, well, we'll have to confront Mr. Gordon. Oh, you make it sound so violent. It's like an uprising. Well, we should down tools till he comes back. Do you agree? Let's play truth or dare while we're waiting. What is this, a sleepover? Well, I wouldn't be inviting her to a sleepover. She'd rub pillars. All right, Crabtree. Fill your jets. Uh, we wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for you running off with winnings. I hardly ran off. I'm still here. Yeah, which makes it even worse. This never would have happened in old days under Baldwin. <laughs> pay packets. You knew where you were with pay packets. Not this electronic rubbish. Bags. Just good old fashioned cash. Mm. But you could almost smell it, eh, Janice? We still say we can't get our hands on the winnings till the investigation is concluded. But what are they investigating? Eh? I mean, we won it. Janice nicked it. How hard is it? Investigation concluded. So come on then. Are you going to tell us what they gave you? I'm working in a hospital. How many hours? Plenty. Are you doing your surgery on the Jenny? Yeah! You owe me ten o'clock. Well, I think scrubbing bogs in general is almost worth it. I'm working in the cafe, actually. <laughs> you what? You steal 25 grand and they've got you serving flapjacks. Oh, crime pays. How many times do I have to apologise? She might be a wrong un, but she's our wrong un. Could just be a simple mistake. A mistake or not. I don't get paid, I don't work. Uh, if I don't get paid, I don't go on holiday with Dan. Oh, what's the sound of that steady dripping? Oh, it's my heart bleeding for you. Oh, so what are we going to do? We'll walk out. Well, it's easy for you. You've got Kevin's wages. Have you got Mr Gordon's number? I think it might be better if I spoke to him when he comes back. No. I think it's time me and Mr Gordon had words. What if he's uh, out of country? Run off with Carla. What on our wages? He won't run very far. I thought she was with a friend in America. Well, if that's what we're meant to think. It's ringing. Hello, uh, Mr Gordon. It's Julie from work. Hello, Julie. What can I do for you? Uh, did you realise that we haven't been paid? Sorry. I had no idea. He's saying, oh, I don't know. Sounds like he's faking it to me. I'm not. Ah! What's all this about not being paid? Um, our wages, they haven't gone into our bank account. <clears throat> I bet you don't know how expensive it is to be overdrawn. This is a complete mystery to me. I'll see what I can find out. Simple mistake. I told you. What if we're churning out knickers and he knows this place is going down the pan and he's now to pails with? Business is good, we have orders. But what if our customers who are placing these orders can't pay? Mr Gordon's too good a businessman to let that happen, mm. isn't he? Too good to know that if he lets Underworld go belly up, he's still got all his other businesses to fall back on. We've got him out. No, not even us lottery winnings. OK, people, listen up. Good and bad news. The bank are looking into the problem. Oh, so there is a problem. Their problem. Uh, and ours. We ain't got any money. Now, the bad news is it won't be sorted out today. But the good news is you're going to let us all go home because you don't want us working without pay. The good news, Janice, is the money should be available to you all tomorrow. Should be. Why do you question everything I say? I've just told you what the bank told me. Now, if any of you don't trust me, feel free to walk out that door now. But don't think you can just walk back in again. That's it. The more I think he's lying to us. Oh, what are you, a mind reader? Oh, how easy is it to rubbish other people's abilities? <laughs> no, it's like my Kirk. Just because he hasn't got lots of GCSEs and stuff, people think he's not very bright. <laughs> but he is. Oh, he says the most profound things. Only last night, he said, have you ever noticed, when you've lost something, it's always in the last place you look. <laughs> Gordon. Hi, Fizz. Um, it's been really good of you to let me have time off, you know, get over what happened. No, it's all take as long as you need. That's just it, I have. I'm ready to come back to work. All right, uh, we'll start back next week. 
Well, I was thinking tomorrow. I can't sit at home any longer brooding. You don't want to come back too soon. Please. So long as you back me up and your colleagues start slagging me off. <laughs> Deal. Not that anyone ever has a bad word to say about you. No, of course not. See you tomorrow. So you did. Well, Dan will be glad that he won't have to sub me all on a day. Oh, well, don't count your chickens. Wages aren't in the bank yet. Hey, little bee. Stop staring trouble. That might find in here. Can I get anyone a drink? Oh, oh. rather buy ourselves, thanks. Out of our own wages. We're not going to say no, though, if you're offering. The Dunstan order we're working on. I don't want to bore you with details about penalty clauses for late delivery. But take my words, it has to get to them by Friday. And what about the bills we have to pay and the families we have to feed? Yeah, and bikinis we need to buy for us holidays. Do you realise how shallow that sounds? There will be bonuses for you all round if we make the deadline. Hey, but I like the sound of that. Yeah, if we actually get it, I mean, we might work a tiny fingers to the bone and end up in out. All I can do, Janice, is give you my word and a warning. If we don't deliver, we lose one of our best customers. And if that happens, it won't just be delayed wages you're worried about. Well, I'm coming to work, Mr Gordon. Me too. Go on, then. Right you are. I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy your drink. Now we never speak to each other again. No. No, we don't, or no, we do. Sorry I accused you of being involved. It's all right. I can understand why you thought it. Oh, I should get my facts straight before uh, flinging accusations about. All over now. Because we're not staying in a dump, you know. No, he's booked a suite, which is a lounge as well as a bedroom. Oh, is that what a suite is? And a private balcony. Oh, well, let's hope it's a nice long drop to the ground. Look, I'm only singing because I need the money for me to pay for it. Oh. And you're sure about that? OK. Thank you. Bye. Problem? <sighs> that was my bank. I still haven't been paid. Right, and no money's been paid in since yesterday. Right, OK. Bye. I've not been paid either. Oh, well, that's all of us then. Right, come on. Come on! Listen, I'm going to have to call you back. Right, bye. Guess what? I know. So when are we going to get it? This is a cash flow problem, not of my making. It's not what she asked you. It's not what you said yesterday either. You said it was a problem of a bank. There was a glitch there too, but I have to admit this is worse now. So what do you mean exactly? Cash flow problem? I'm paying my bills, but other companies that aren't doing so well aren't paying theirs. Oh, so you've got no money because you're doing well? Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry to complain, Mr Gordon, but we've got our own bills to pay. Well, times are hard. It's like a freak jam in the motorway because someone up ahead has slowed down too quickly. With respect, Mr Gordon, this is not the M62. Yeah, but it is the same principle. I'm sorry. Until we get paid, we're withdrawing our labour. Shall we go? Listen, if you finish this order, the jam clears. I'm sorry, I'm afraid that's not good enough. But I can't pay you till you do that. Hello? Ma'am? Are they there yet? Joking! So you've come to your senses. Oh, um, I've got a favour to ask. I'll let you come back, you go and strike, and now you want a favour. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, but I really need to take some more time off. It's just, <laughs> there's been a family crisis. I've got to go away. Take as much time as you need. Oh, thank you, Mr Gordon. <laughs> you won't be paid for it, though. No, well, I understand that. And I can't guarantee your job will be here when you get back, either. Right, well, I'll just have to take that risk. Here you go. 
works there? Oh, South Africa. There you go. Well, don't look at me like that. I can hardly stay up there, don't, can I? So you'd come back if you could? Well, yeah, if I got paid. You will get paid. Yeah, but when? I'll be honest with you. I can't give you the whole two weeks just yet. I could give you each a sub, if that would help. Well, how much? 150. If you can persuade the rest to come back, I'll double it for you. What, so I get 300? If you get them all to come back and you keep it quiet. That's some spending money for your holiday. Yeah, right then. But you can't say out either. Well, I've no immediate plans to commit suicide. Where are you? In the pub? Yeah. You go back. Act dumb. I'll be over in five. OK. Hi there. I'd like to transfer some money from a joint account to a personal account, please. Yeah, Tony Gordon and Carla Connor. Hi, up. I have a suggestion. We're listening. Until I can pay you in full, which will be soon, I'll take money from my personal bank account to give you all in advance to tide you over. How much? £100 each. £100? Well, that won't go far. All right. £150 each out of my personal account. I can't see fear of them. Well, I think we should take it. And what if we don't get paid? Well, if we don't get paid, then we can think again. But we're not going to make any money sat here away. Really, it's right. I'm acting in good faith. You really have to do the same. Mm. So, what do we think, girls? He's got a point. I, I think we should do it. Me too. I'm me. I won't forget this. Mm. You better not. I think you'll find it's all there, ladies. Thank you for keeping the faith in me. Oh, what choice do we have? And given that you'll eventually receive all your back pay, I would appreciate it if... Stop yakking. Start stitching. Exactly. So, what's the latest from your creditors? They're waiting for theirs to pay up. We are in a global economic downturn. Well, fair play. You have shown willing wheels. Um, Mr Gordon. You know, I can't help feeling we're being taken for a ride. We're doing him a favour. Yeah, but if you don't have the money... He will have. We should be milking him dry. If Ailey was here, she wouldn't let him get away with it. Well, I don't mind asking for a profit share or something. I'm not afraid to march in there and negotiate. No, we'll wait till Ailey gets back. I mean, she usually looks after the whole team. Oh, yeah, cos you're big on teams, aren't you? Oh, can we help you? Is Rosie about? Oh, who wants to know? Well, if it's work-related, then you better speak to Mr Gordon. Yeah, and if it's not work-related... Is she off with stress? I know she's really been through the mill. You're a journalist, aren't you? I'm other things too. Mother, daughter, sister... Well, Rosie's not talking to the press. Poor thing. Is that her office there? Our lunch break's just ended. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Look, I'm not into turning people over. That's why I never get promoted. Are you a really lovely person working in a really nasty industry? Excuse me? Tony Gordon, you're on my property. Hannah Steele, Weatherfield Gazette. Listen, love, why don't you go and fill up your jotter somewhere else? <laughs> Fine. Of course, now I'm ten times more curious than I was before. Yeah, I know I said the money would be there today. You know what banks are? It'll be with you first thing in the morning, I can guarantee you. Not at all. And thank you. Oh, no. Oh, well, I have had warmer welcomes. I'm sorry, it's just the day everyone either seems to want money from me or won't give me any. Well, before you shoot the messenger, I think you should listen to what I've got to say. Go on. I've just sold a flat. Sold. That's in exchange for money. Wait, was it? Yeah. Full asking price? Oh, yes. Sorry for barging in. It's all right, let's just go in anyway. I'll speak to you later. Okay. 
So, uh, that's good news, isn't it? Uh-huh. Um, do I get that other 150, then, you know, that you promised me? You'll be paid in full on Monday. But I'm going on my holidays! Sorry. No, Kelly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to ask for money that's rightfully yours, but until Monday, I'm in the same boat as you. Yeah, I know I said the money would be there today. You know what banks are. It'll be with you first thing in the morning, I can guarantee you. Not at all. And thank you. Oh, no. Oh, well, I have had one the welcomes. I'm sorry, it's just the day everyone either seems to want money from me or won't give me any. Well, before you shoot the messenger, I think you should listen to what I've got to say. Go on. I've just sold the flat. Sold. That's in exchange for money. Wait, you're saving? Yeah. Full asking price? Oh, yes. Sorry for barging in. It's all right, let's just go in anyway. I'll speak to you later. OK. So, uh, that's good news, isn't it? Uh-huh. Um, do I get that other 150, then, you know, that you promised me? You'll be paid in full on Monday. But I'm going on my holidays. Sorry. No, Kelly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to ask for money that's rightfully yours, but until Monday, I'm in the same boat as you. Hi, sweetheart. It's me again. I got some great news today, so hurry up and call me back, because I want to share it with you. Also, I'm quite keen to know when you're coming back, because, strange as it may seem, I've grown accustomed to your face. OK. I love you. Bye. Bye now.